in today's video, we are going to make a gaff out of this scrap piece of sapili and a fish bonker out of some other scrap pieces of sapili that I had left over from my rocket chair build. Let's go do it. Three-eighths marine grade stainless steel solid round rod. Just gonna grind it down to a nice tapered point. That'll work. Just like sharpening a pencil. Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a heads up. We're starting another round of live webinar events. Several free live events starting January 25th. In these events, Jimmy Duresta, John Peters, my brother-in-law Adam, and myself will be walking through some of our most popular projects. Sign up is absolutely free, so make sure you click the link in the description box below. It's going to be awesome. Switching to a 120 grit just to shine it up a little bit, take off the forge marks and give it a final sharpen. Uh, this belt is a special belt. It's like a scotch Brite pad with honing compound mixed into it, so it just kind of polishes, takes off mill scale, but doesn't remove a lot of material. It's just great for putting a final finish on there. So the last thing I got to do is grind a little flat spot here just so that I can drill a small hole through here. So I want to place a screw through the steel into the handle so that it can never come apart, even though I'm going to epoxy it too. And then I'm also just going to scratch this up with some grooves so that when the epoxy pours around it, it'll keep it from sliding out. You don't want to have a smooth surface here. Just going to make a little punch for the drill bit to register. Ideally, when you're drilling steel, you want to be down around like 900 RPM. That was a little too fast. All right, I'm trying something new here. I kind of carved a bit of a groove in here so it kind of matches the profile of the handle, and then I'm clamping that on there, and that's just to kind of help guide this drill bit, which is 3 eighths in diameter. So we've come this far, we do not want to risk damaging the, or splitting the handle. So we're going to pre-drill that. Now we mix up some fast-setting epoxy. screw in there. The brass screw in here. Just while the epoxy sets, I want to tape it. The epoxy is set up enough.
again, I gotta tighten the rope as you wrap it. Keep pulling it tight and make sure there's no gap. Okay, so I'm using Odie's Oxy Oil, which is simply Odie's oil, but it oxidizes and darkens the wood over time. We're giving her a little sand. You know, they say a little bit goes a long way, but what I've found is this stuff doesn't stretch nearly as far when you, when you use a rag to apply it because the rag soaks a lot of it up. And it is not cheap. So I have reverted to using my bare hands or a glove so that you don't absorb any of the oil into the rag and then you get the most out of each jar. And then I also drilled a little 3 8 hole just in a scrap of wood here. And this is gonna be my tip guard. Now nobody will get impaled while it's being transported. One down, fish clubber to go. I love making tools, especially tools that you get to use recreationally. No, I'm not going to murder people. These are for fishing, okay? Yeah, fish bonker. Uh, so yes, I will be murdering some fish. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button, make sure you're subscribed. And also we are doing a free live event, several free live events starting January 25th. Jimmy DiResta, John Peters, myself, we're going to be walking through some of our projects, tutorials, joinery, that sort of stuff. So if you want to join in on those live events, they're totally free. Click the link in the description shop. Description shop? Description shop. Yeah, description shop below. And uh, sign up for that because there's limited seating. And if that's not your jam, talking woodworking with some dudes, cool dudes, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm cool. Uh, then we'll see you on the next video, okay? Until then.